So I'm going to show you how to use the chat function in Zoom to share files with your students. So what you want to do is first open up a meeting and on the bottom of your meeting screen there's this button that says chat and if you click that it opens up this sidebar where you can type stuff into here and then your students will see the message. It's just like any instant messenger if you've used one of those in the past. Uh, students can type back and forth. There's this button over here called file and that is what you click if you want to attach any files and send them to your students. It uh, looks like you can connect to Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, Google Drive, Box. Those are all file sharing services so if you use one of those maybe you have your library of songs or um, exercises stored on there. You can link up with one of those accounts and access those files but let's say you have something on your computer that you want to share with somebody so you click computer and then you can use the finder um, using a Mac right now uh, if you're using Windows it'll uh, be the the Windows Explorer file explorer but it works the same way you just find the folder and let's see I want to share our policy document so I just find wherever that is and then I click open and then boom there it is so that will appear on the students chat they will then be able to click that open it download it um, so if you have uh, any exercises songs photos uh, let's see I can think I can share a photo as well let me just a second so I'm going to share a photo of the store there you go so if you take a photo of a, of, um, a book, a music book, whatever you're working on um, and get it onto your uh, either your computer or a file sharing service, then you can use the chat function in Zoom to upload it and get it to the student. The other thing that you should explore is um, the whiteboard function. So if you click on share screen, there's this option for whiteboard. And you can use this to, it's just like any whiteboard, you can uh, click text and type anything in. Uh, you can draw. There's kind of a free draw. There are lines. Maybe you can make uh, some staff paper here. Um, and it's a good way to interact with the student on kind of a, a whiteboard surface. So check that out. Uh, there's a lot of options, <clears throat> a lot of stuff to explore and try out. All right, hope that helps.